They're putting honey in there, nectar. So they are definitely ramping up, doing well. One thing I've done different this year, see how big, man, they're just, they're feisty bees out here. It's going down here. So obviously, these bees out here are killing it. Look at that. Ha, <laughs> oh man. Here's a swarm commander. I've got a lot of swarms of this stuff. So there we go. Hey, I'm out here at Honey Hill Farm, and I want to show you what a strong hive looks like. I mean, I know you've probably seen some strong hives, but this frame right here, this hive right here is two deeps and a medium. Look at the brood pattern on that frame, on this frame, and I've only pulled two frames out. There's the medium super full of bees. I don't know how well you can see this, but if you look down in there, look at all those bees. I'm not sure how focused that is. Try this for close on. These bees are pretty feisty out here. Let's pull out another frame or two and let's see what we got. I have a feeling it's going to be that way throughout. I'm not going to even go into the bottom box. Um, I'm going to start stacking some boxes on here. Pure brood. Brood. Now, issue I have here is these are not my bees. If they were my bees, I'd probably split them. Um, so maybe if I, that one right there looks like, I'm sure I can't really tell. Probably, she's probably laid in all those empty cells. I'm guessing so those are the bees that have been hatching lately. If you look right here at the bottom, you'll see drone comb over there. So you can tell they're a little mad. The bees out here seem to be that way more. What I did was I set up six hives out here a few years ago. And I managed these bees for my buddy, for my friend. Uh, he pays me a little bit to do that. And so, um, first couple of years, uh, we, we got some honey, we did okay, but um, we lost some hives. Last year, I thought I was gonna lose some. I think this hive right here was one of the ones that I actually did a video on this hive about. It's called uh, How These Bees Fix Themselves or something like that. Basically, it dwindled down to almost no bees. I think they kind of had swarmed out. And uh, you can see what the, the bees did replace their queen. Um, they kind of struggled for a little while, but you can see what they're doing now. So what I think I'm gonna do, probably gonna just go get some honey boxes and stack this up. Cause there's gonna be a bunch more bees in here before I'm afraid they're gonna swarm. While I got this uh, camera, let's just kind of pick in a couple more hives here. I really have not been through these bees out here, honestly, and I peeked in, but I haven't really been through them in, I don't know how long. Look at this right here. This is a deep and a medium. This hive was, you know, the reason it only has a deep and a medium on it is because it wasn't very strong. My word, look at this. I'm gonna have to go get some honey boxes to stack these jokers up. I'm gonna treat for mites today one more time. Got a little nectar coming in there. We do have red maple, either blooming or it's already bloomed. We got several things starting to bloom. Um, we'll have privet blooming before clover and privet and everything's gonna start blooming soon. They don't see any brood, but they're putting honey in there, nectar. So they are definitely ramping up doing well. One thing I've done different this year, see how big, and they're just, they're feisty bees out here. Yeah, that's mostly honey there, but I, with the number of bees, you can tell they're obviously, there's some brood going on. There's some bees being made. All right, we're gonna peek in two more. I don't think I'm gonna take any frames out. We'll see if they all look like this. I'm gonna open them up. They are getting after me. It's, uh, 
February 22nd. I came out here with the purpose today of just treating them. Thought I'd peek in. And uh, I realized I gotta do more than just treat. I gotta get some more boxes on here, but I'm gonna treat first. Let's see this one. Same story, there's three hives. Let's look in this one. Yep, look at that. Holy cow, this is too deep for the medium. It's going down here. So obviously, these bees out here are killing it. Look at that. <laughs> oh man. I may talk to my buddy and see if uh, he minds if I make some splits out of these, because otherwise, now this one's not quite as strong. This hive has struggled a little bit over the years. Mm -hmm. There are bees in the top boxes, uh, deep and two mediums. So, get these jokers treated for mites, and uh, then I may go ahead and stack a few boxes on top of them, um, because they are obviously all doing well. So that's what's happening out here at Honey Hill Farm. It's a farm not too far away from my hometown, Dotham, where I live. I don't know if you, I think it's a Newton address. It's kind of out more towards Wicksburg here. Anyway, they're doing well. You can hear the helicopters going over. We have a military Fort Rucker is close by and they uh, they train do a lot of training out here a lot of helicopter pilot training whoops the glove is in the way do a lot of helicopter pilot training so there's always helicopters flying over in this area all right I'm gonna go ahead and I turn this off here and I get to treating these bees and I got a lot to do more than I anticipated so I better get after it here just got this done out here at Honey Hill Farm. All these boxes, as you can see, were packed. So what I did, I put a couple of extra boxes on them. Um, and uh, I don't know if it's quite time for that, but they needed more room. I hope they don't swarm. Um, so we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, you can see the bees just boiling out of the top of that one already. There's two boxes I've added there and they're already coming up and out of there. Um, I did put a cleaning scooter on this one. We'll see how that goes. Remember that box? was a deep and a medium packed to the gills so i'm going to see if they go up through that queen excluder um on some of these i put a box of foundation and then a box of comb on that one down the end it's <clears throat> probably the least strong of all of them and so i just put one box on top of it so i can't remember if i put foundation or comb anyway they've all got a little more space maybe i'll keep them from swarming uh, but I'm excited about how they're gonna do out here. Like I said before, these are not my bees. A friend of mine who lives out here uh, asked me to help manage his bees and, and uh, I've learned a lot. These, this is probably my strongest uh, bee yard out here of all the ones I manage consistently year in and year out. I think this is the fourth, uh, fourth or maybe even the fifth year there's been bees out here. I'm not sure exactly, but I've been managing them all along and i think we've got a pretty good thing going we'll see how it goes as the year goes on well a little bonus coverage here if you look over where the tire tracks are you can see that's kind of the direction the bees are kind of right down just right over there somewhere probably 100 maybe 150 yards away so as thick as those bees were as much um Root as I saw in there, you know, there's a chance they may swarm even though I gave them some space. So I came over here and I hung up one of my swarm traps. See, I got the drawn comb inside, some old comb I have another hive, a dead out. See the nail up on the tree there? And uh, we'll see how it goes. You can, the nail was already there. I'd hung a swarm trap out here a couple of years ago, never have caught a swarm in a trap out here, but I know those bees have swarmed before, so I figured what the heck, we'll hang it up here. And what I did was I, I put, per directions, I put a couple of squirts of, I, think I put three squirts of Commander on the, two on the bottom side of the lid and one kind of back towards the back um, on top of one of the frames. The directions also say put a couple of squirts in the entrance, so. Here's a swarm Commander. I've got a lot of swarms with this stuff. So there we go. Just kind of put it in there. Maybe to draw them in if they swarm. Maybe we'll catch a feral swarm, who knows. 
think it's a pretty good spot. That's how I set them up. It is, uh, I usually try to put them a height that I can reach uh, from under these pretty easily. And then they seem to work out well. Maybe we'll catch one out here this year. I guess we'll see. All right, gonna sign off for now. Uh, thanks for watching Bruce's Bees. I hope you subscribe to the channel. And I uh, hope you find this entertaining, if not informational. And uh, fun times here in South Alabama. Signing off for now. On the next video.